Yin yoga, as I said, it is meant to stress the tissues. Um, so by propping, we take that away. We take away the action of gravity in the pose. Hey, my name is Ellie and I'm very happy that you found this video. Today I'm going to be talking about what is not yin yoga. I already have a video when I talk about what is it, but I now I would like to say what is not. So unfortunately, yeah, I would say unfortunately, yin yoga is not a system that is quite established and structured so we can easily say that is yin and we can practice yin yoga like this anywhere in the world and we will know that that is yin yoga. Uh, yin yoga is a pretty open kind of style of yoga. It's not new though, okay? Um, I have another video when I explain a little bit about the history of yin yoga. It's not a new style of yoga, but the name is quite new uh, for us. So, because it is not a system, it's not a structure as other styles of yoga, a lot of people have decided <laughs> to add things here and there, to teach in certain ways, that are not necessarily yin-like or part of the idea of a yin practice. So what is not yin yoga, for example, is restorative. We tend to confuse, now we, honestly, some teachers tend to confuse restorative with yin. They look alike, and I have another video that I invite you to go and check it out. That is the difference between yin yoga and restorative. Um, but mainly, the difference is the use of props. Yin yoga is meant to stress deeper connective tissues in the body. So, yin yoga is not a comfortable practice. Not in the physical body, not in the mind because we are holding poses for long periods of time, much longer than we are used to, especially if we practice other more dynamic styles of yoga. But in the body, when it comes to the body, the aim of holding these poses in a stillness for long periods of time, which are uh, some of the principles of yin yoga that I also talk about that in another video, um, the idea behind that stillness and that time that we are holding the poses is to allow the stress, the anatomical stress that we are applying to that area to actually go deeper and deeper and deeper and reach the connective tissue that is beyond the muscles. Joints, tendons, ligaments, bones, all those tissues need to be stressed as well in a proper way. So yin is a proper way to stress those tissues. In the moment that we prop in a way that we reduce the stress that we are applying to that area, that becomes restorative, which is a great, a great way to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, but it's not yin yoga. Yin yoga, as I said, it is meant to stress the tissues. Um, so by propping, we take that away. We take away the action of gravity in the pose. Gravity is the, one of the main guests in the practice of yin yoga. We allow the time that we are in the pose and the gravity to pull our body deeper and deeper to start finding other borders, other layers, other edges of our body to go deeper and deeper. So yin yoga is not restorative yoga. Yin yoga is not hatha yoga. 
Hatha has and Hatha as a style of yoga, right? So Hatha has its own system, its own way of practicing. In Hatha, you will find that you are seated and then you are standing and then you'll go back to seated and then you're doing an inversion and you're doing headstand and then you will go back to seated. It has its own kind of like sequences. So even though yin yoga want to, wants to go back to that a natural way of practicing asanas on the floor to train our body to be comfortably in a stillness for longer periods of time while you're seated trying to achieve the state of meditation is definitely not hatha. The sequences that we put together in yin usually don't involve going on the be on the floor and then standing up because we are as I said before, because we are targeting these deep connective tissues, they're, they're usually plastic, right? They're, they're hard. So when you are applying the stress, it, they kind of get like mushy, soft, vulnerable. This is what we want in the, this is gonna, this is actually what is going to happen in the short term, because what we want in the long run is these tissues to get resilient and to get, um, stronger and to absorb the shock and to absorb the stress from the daily life in a better way and be and being healthier so yin yoga is not hatha yin yoga is not restorative yin yoga is not a relaxation uh, it's not a relaxing practice it's not for relaxation people sometimes uh, when they have been practicing more dynamic styles of yoga they're like oh I let me practice yin so i can relax Hmm, you can relax when you are when you're finished with the practice but you are going to be as i said you're going to be stressing different areas of your body and your mind is going to get quite stressed as well because again we are not used to stop and be in stillness and feeling that we're not doing anything we unfortunately with the speed of the world right now we don't like to be bored we don't like to be in silence we want to be entertained all the time in the end you will have the space to be quiet with yourself and that is something that not everybody likes so you may relax yes definitely one of the effects after you have practiced is to have um to be more grounded so you can feel calmer um but in the moment that you're practicing believe me you won't relax at least not mentally or at least not in the way that we have um learn the relaxation feels it's not a massage that you're you know you're getting that nice yummy scrubbing oil in your body not that quite not, not that not that kind of relaxation the relaxation comes from practicing with relaxed muscles especially in the area that you're aiming to target with a particular pose rest of the muscles can be active to be to help you to be able in the pose so yeah the relaxation of the muscles may happen in the area that you're targeting because again we don't want the muscles to take over that stress that we're applying to that area um, one of the roles of the muscles of the skeletal muscles is actually to um, to protect the more plastic the, the harder tissues that we have in the body because the muscles are more elastic and they take over the stress quite um, better. So we want them to be as relaxed as possible so the stress can go deeper, but it is going to be challenging. Honestly, yin yoga is a challenging uh, practice and the more we practice, the more we advance in the practice, the more time we want to be in the pose. So this is how you advance in a practice of yin yoga. So that is also challenging the mind. Anyway, so I hope that now is clear what yin yoga is not. Remember, there is a video that talks about what yin yoga is and there are other videos about the principles of yin yoga. Uh, 
the main differences between DNA restorative and many, many other videos when you can keep learning about this amazing, beautiful, um, quite confusing maybe style of yoga because we don't have clarity, especially because teachers out there, a lot of them are not teaching exactly in yoga. So I hope you can keep coming back to this channel to uh, keep learning, keep learning. And if you have any question, any comment about yin yoga, about anatomy, about something that I can help you with, please leave me your comments below and I will be happy to reply to them. Till next time, bye-bye.